The family of murdered honeymoon bride Annie Dewani is scheduled to arrive in the United Kingdom for Shreen's extradition hearing, which takes place this week. Annie was gunned down in an apparent staged hijacking in Cape Town in 2010 while on honeymoon. She was murdered by three men, who were allegedly hired by Shreen. Her family is hoping to see the 32 year old British businessman sent back to South Africa to stand trial for orchestrating her murder. The hearing before the Westminster Magistrates Court in central London is set down for five days. District Judge Howard Riddle, who presided over the original extradition hearing, will again hear evidence set out before him. The hearing will concentrate on two aspects of the case, namely Dewani's mental health, which the court has been told has been fluctuating in the last few months, and the conditions of the prison units in which he might be detained if extradited. Some of the evidence will be given from witnesses in South Africa via video link and the rest from the witness stand in the court. Dewani denies any involvement in his wife's killing. The other three men are already serving lengthy sentences for their role in the crime. Khalil Njini was sentenced to life imprisonment in December. Njini was convicted of robbery with aggravating circumstances, premeditated murder and the illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition. Mzawamadota Kwebe and Zola Tongo were sentenced to 25 years and 18 years respectively for their parts in the crime. Dewani has appeared several times in British courts to challenge his extradition on the grounds of poor mental health. Last year, a UK court ruled that it would be unjust and oppressive to extradite him as his mental state had deteriorated since his arrest. His legal team had previously argued he should not be extradited because he would not receive a fair trial and South Africa's prisons were unsafe.